Hey everybody, Dream Akuma here. I wanted to do a video where uh, I did a shout out to Nurgling. He's a really cool YouTuber. Uh, he does some really great, uh, really great stuff, especially with uh, his Realms of Chaos Army, his Making Bad, showing off a bunch of figures that he's done. Now, uh, he kind of brought, brought up in a comment that I should show off some of my chaos stuff. Now, I don't have anywhere near as comprehensive as, of, of a list of chaos stuff. And for the most part, most of my chaos stuff's kind of samey. So I thought I'd show off some of my favorite figures that are in the collection. Some of these are Games Workshop. Some of them are Prepaints, Reaper... You know, because I, I play a, a variety of different games. And I wanted to start off with this guy here. This is my Barrow White for Lord of the Rings. And the moment that I move the figure a little, the focus dies. I hate the focus on this camera. But this, uh, this Barrow White was in a collection of 3rd edition Warhammer Fantasy uh, Chaos bits and baubles and whatnot. I bought a I bought a whole army at a local bazaar for a whole $30. It was for an entire army. I think I walked away with close to 50 figs. <coughs> and this guy was in the box, half primed, rusted, just in bad shape, terrible shape, really, super beat up. I don't know if my paint job's much improvement from where it was, but it, it was so cool, and I had no idea what it was. And it has the Chaos Star, if I can show it off here a little, in the chest plate, there's a Chaos Star. But it's a Lord of the Rings figure. I thought it was some sort of undead or or something from Warhammer Fantasy because I'm, I'm not too big on or I'm not too well versed in Warhammer Fantasy especially old old figures but no it's a Lord of the Rings fig super cool uh, next up on our I guess we'll start with some Games Workshop stuff we have my uh, my Death Dealer I call it the Death Dealer because I kind of modeled it to look a lot like the Frank Frazetta Death Dealer. This was also from that lot of Warhammer Fantasy. And there's not much about it, really, that I liked, or really too much. <laughs> but the shield is from Marauder Miniatures Beastmen line. And the shield looks so cool, and the axe was on a on a different Chaos Warrior, and I just kind of kit bashed it, cleaned it up a bit, and that's how I got my Death Dealer. I absolutely love this guy. I want to run him as a villain one day in a D&D game. Just it, it's just so cool to me. <laughs> I'm gonna use cool a lot. But next up, we have a twofer. We have this classic guy. If light, if focus will work, I don't think it will for some reason. Oh, wrong, wrong fig. And this guy, maybe that'll help. Hey, there we go. That light is super harsh. I have no idea why. Uh, these are my two war bosses. They are, we got Gubstop and Warsnag. Uh, Gubstop is an Assault on Black Reach war boss with a Forge World Dreadnought arm. Yeah, you find weird things. And Wurznag here is a Reaper Bones bugbear that has a bunch of GW bits attached to it, including a power a, with a power claw. It has a shooter. Uh, the sword here is from Warhammer Fantasy, 
and the Gretchen is also a Warhammer Fantasy kit. He's probably the more unique of the two, but I still like Gubstop and his Power Claw. So, two really cool personal favorites. Next up is the Demogorgon. Hey, okay, there we go. The Demogorgon from, obviously from Stranger Things, Grenadier Miniatures. Uh, I did not know Grenadier's figures were still being produced today. And I had a friend of mine, a dear friend, Jack, if you see this, thank you very much. Uh, he, he bought this for me as a gift. And uh, I'm more than happy to have it on my shelf. There we go. Uh, the Demogorgon is it's it's just a wonderful fig to have. I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things, and it was a, it was just great to have this and and paint it up and get it done. Next up, we have a Reaper Bones fig from Bones Three. This is a barbarian, or I don't know what it is. I can't remember the name of the hero. They just give you a big bag of figs whenever you you buy Bones core sets off Kickstarter. Uh, this was a Reaper Bones 3 uh, fighter, and he originally had a sword along with an axe. And I, I just, it looked dumb. I don't know why you would wield a sword and an axe at the same time, but it looked terrible. So, from that Chaos Bits box, there was a, uh, there's another shield from one of the Marauder miniatures. And uh, I painted it up a little bit, threw it on, on him. It kind of looks like he's holding it now. Uh, I want to use him as a main character or a villain or something. I really like this fig. Uh, let's see, next up for the, the Tear Jerkers. We have the Beholder. This thing's so huge. So freaking huge. There's... This is a uh, WizKids uh, Monster Menagerie 2 Beholder. And I absolutely love this Beholder. I don't have any official Beholder figs except for this guy. And I have to thank my buddy Pat for it. Uh, Papa Bear Pat, uh, if, if you end up watching this somehow, thank you very much for getting this and allowing me to buy it off of you. <laughs> uh, obviously it's a pre-paint, it's not very, there's, there's a big mold line or assembly line right in the middle. Uh, I'm a little afraid to touch it up and paint it because these are kind of valuable and rare. Almost any Beholder fig goes for an absurd amount of money. And that includes this guy. Uh, absolutely love him. He's a favorite. One more pre-paint. This is a half lithid a half a lithid uh, lizard man from Wizards of the Coast. I want to say this is a 3.5 D&D miniature. And I found this at a shop for five bucks just sitting in a glass case. And he's probably not even worth five bucks to, uh, to most people. I, I haven't found him online or want to. But I found him at the shop and I had no idea what it was. You know, I couldn't tell that those were tentacles. I thought they were some sort of weird beak. It reminded me of an old school D&D fig. And, uh, just had to have it. And I am so happy to have them on my shelf. Next up... is, uh... 
really hate my focus right now. This is the uh, Red Death. It's a uh, from Reaper Bones 3. They had a one of the options you could get was Undead Lords. And Undead Lords was something I absolutely I love Undead. I, I love Undead characters. I love liches. I love vampires. I like ghouls, whites, all of them. <clears throat> and I didn't have much plan for this guy. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with him. And then I just kind of thought, oh, well, let's make him Edgar Allan Poe's Red Death. And he's got a really cool, like, at, at the base here, there's, there's just skeletons, and I just covered them up in blood. I tried to make as red a cloak as I could. I just, I wanted red to be a big focus. Huge, huge fan of this mini. And, uh, last but not least... Oh, come on. Apparently he doesn't like to focus on this guy too well. I guess the camera can't handle is awesome. This here is Vivi. He is a character from Final Fantasy IX. I had to touch him up. Uh, I think I got this as a Chinese knockoff from some toy supplier or something. I think I, uh, back whenever I, I did some work for a game store, they had this in a box and it was like five dollars or something. And it was terribly painted. And I had to touch it up quite a bit. And I know he's not quite the right size. I mean, here compared to our lizard man here, he is he is beefy. But it it made for a really cool frost grave wizard. Um, if y'all like this, um, if y'all like checking out other people's figures, Nurgling is a good place to uh, to start. He probably has a better collection, <laughs> and definitely a better uh, res better presentation of his figs. But uh, I wanted to say thank you very much for uh, for checking out the video, and uh, take care, dudes.